Hey everyone and welcome back to another Unreal tutorial. So in this video we're going to be adding the final parts to our Endless Runner and the Player Destruction which will be having the um, explosion particle effect when you die and also having the trail behind them just to give that extra implication that the player is actually moving and we should have something looking like this by the end of this video. Your particle systems may differ from what I'm using and uh, what I wanted to do is actually take some time, because this is going to be very easy to implement, uh, I wanted to take some time to actually show you where you can get other particle systems, other examples, and how to migrate them and move them properly from one project to another, as I think this is very useful, especially for people new to the engine, uh, and also because making a particle system from scratch can take a very long time, and it's not something I'm particularly knowledgeable in. So I think it's going to be a lot more useful to take existing examples in the engine and uh, show you how you can break those down and make your own from it, which is generally what I tend to do. So the first thing I'd recommend to anyone who hasn't already done this is to go to the Learn tab on the Epic Launcher and navigate down to the Content Examples, which we can see just here. If we click on this, this will take us to a, another page and you can create a project here. So just press Create Project um, I already have mine installed, so I, I, I can't do that, but you choose where you create it, like any other normal project, and that will create the content examples project for you. And then you can access that from your library like you would any other project. Now, when you have that, this will give you a lot of content. And just before you do download this, the project itself is something like three and a half gigabytes in size. So it can be quite large and people tend to not like using it for that reason. But um, if you look at the maps inside of this project, this is a great place to learn pretty much anything on how to work with the engine. Uh, it's got really simple things like basic blueprint input, all the way to networking and AI navigation and things like that. And there are three maps which I would say are gonna be of use when you're looking at particle systems. So the first one is actually the blueprint input. Uh, which gives you two or three little mini games. Uh, this one just lets you control a little guy. Uh, but the one that I like is this, and it's because you've got the particle system here from the back of that ship, which is really handy because you can come in, you can find that ship, and if we go to the blueprint, which controls this one, we can see uh, what it's using and the thruster and everything, which is part of the blueprint. So we need to go down to the player ship, and if we just navigate to the SM Pixel player, this will um, give us the location where everything's stored. And under the effects, we, we can see that we have the Pixel Engine and the Pixel Explosion. So Pixel Explosion is going to be quite a nice one if you wanted to implement that into this project when something blows up, as is the Pixel Engine. So this is going to be quite useful for a thruster. It gives you the information over here uh, on how it's set up how the size is being affected over life, the velocity and things like that. These are the things you're going to need to get used to understanding when you're making your own particles. Now, if you just wanted to use these, all you would need to do is you select the objects that you want to take with you, right click on this, and you want to go to asset actions and then migrate. Now, when you migrate something, it will take everything which is referenced in any of those assets. So the textures, the particles, the materials, so that there's no missing assets or references or things like that. You then want to go to the project you want to move it to. So for me, it would be the YouTube Endless Runner. And you need to make sure that you put this inside of the content folder. When you're in the content folder, press select folder. If you don't have the content folder selected, you will get a warning that uh, putting it in other folders could cause errors. Okay, so I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to use this. Um, and I just wanted to quickly go back to the maps folder. There are two others, like I mentioned. One is called effects, which is going to be very useful. This has a lot of different particles that you could probably take, use for explosions or thrusters or something. And the other, I think, actually comes under particle. Yeah, particles intro. So these are showing things like GPU particles and stuff like that. So again, pretty cool stuff. And it's going to be interesting to kind of take these apart and see how you can work those into your project. Now, the other thing is that by the end of this video, uh, and by the time I upload this, I'm going to have released the, the project. Uh, so all of the content I've been working on will be available uh, freely to anyone. Uh, Patreons who have been supporting the channel again, as always, thank you. But you would have had, already had access to this by the time all of this has gone up. Uh, I always give early access to any project files I can on the Patreon page. So if you have this, what you can do is again, just navigate to the assets folder and find the exhaust and explode. Right click on this, do the migration option, 
and put that into the project if you wanted to follow along with the assets exactly, which is what I'm going to do for this tutorial. And again, just make sure it's in the correct folder, the content folder. And then, like I said, that will all be moved across successfully. Okay, so I'm back in my main project, the one we'll be working on in just a moment. And the final thing I wanted to say, another option that you have is this add new button just here. If you didn't want the whole content examples project, which is like I said, is a few gigabytes large, uh, you can add just small specific packs. Now these are basically just the starter templates that you get, but you've also got this content pack option over here. And if you go over the starter content, this will give you things like um, a few explosions, sparks, so some very basic particle systems. But even just having the fire particle and the explosion particle would be enough for you to follow along with this video. And of course, you could have your own particles already made, um, and this is just going to be the implementation of them. So let's get into that. First thing we want to do is all of these are going to be on the player, so we're going to go to the BP underscore pawn base. And the first one I want to add onto the player, if we go to the viewport, will be the thruster. So we can just add a new component and this will be our emitter. And for this, you need to search particle system. And I'm gonna add this directly onto the player to so make sure that the hierarchy is as so. Now the particle that I have, I know is going to need to be moved back. Um, I think it's minus 50 on the X, should be fine. Yes, that's flush. And it also needs to be rotated 90 degrees, uh, minus 90 degrees in fact. And then to get this working, we just need to come over here, go to the template, and add in the particle system, which I seem to have actually added the example content, so I can get rid of this, but this is what you will have if you've downloaded the example content. So I'm just gonna get rid of these, as it was giving me a lot more options than I actually need for the thruster, and just try and keep the project nice and tidy. So with the content that I don't need removed from the folder, we should be able to go back now, go back to the player class and just easily find the particle system I want to put in here. So under the template, I just want the exhaust. If I go to the viewport, we can see how that looks. Okay, just needed to let that recompile. And then we have our particle system looking something like this. Now, having this on by default will cause a small issue. And again, I'll run through that uh, so we can see it in action and then run through the simple fix but the other thing that we want to add is when the player dies we're going to have our explosion so if we go to the hit obstacle function and quite simply again in front of the uh, set view target with blend i'm just going to pull off of here and i'm going to spawn emitter at location the location is just going to simply be where we currently are so get actor location and the emitter this time is going to be our explosion so if you've got an explosion particle effect ready then place that there and again there's going to be something we come back to and fix here but i just want to show the general process at the moment so this is the first issue is that it kind of looks this is meant to give away that uh, the look that we're moving so it kind of looks as though the exhaust is going and the thrust is ready uh, before we actually start playing so we're going to fix that and then it also keeps playing afterwards for that same sort of reason but we did get the explode particle effect uh, so that one works perfectly fine now the first thing we want to do is we're going to come back to the particle system we're actually going to remove this but remember the name of this is called template so what we want to do is when we actually start play we want to pass an update to the player as well to let the, the player class know that it started playing. So we're going to create a simple function and we'll call this one game started. So only when the game has started, we're going to get a reference to our particle system and we want to set the template particle uh, emitter here. So if we say set template, we'll plug this in and we'll just pass in the, uh, the exhaust. Now, of course, we're going to need to go back over to our level manager and in the level manager, on the start game we just need to make sure that we update the player of this as well so on event begin play first of all i'm going to get the uh, reference to the player so get player pawn and we want to cast this to make sure that it is of uh, the pawn base and then if it is we're just going to promote this to a variable and i'll call this one the player reference okay so we have a reference to our player so we're going to go now back to the start game so we know that this is when the start button has been pressed we're going to get our player reference, we're going to pull off of here, and we'll call the game started function. So nice and simple, and now that's just going to activate the thruster. And I won't have reference to that just because we didn't actually compile and save, so we'll just go back and make sure they're all linked up. So that is the first problem solved. We now start with the thruster off, and then it will come on as soon as we start playing and moving. So that instantly gives that effect, or the, uh, the visual effect, that it's the player moving, not the world, uh, a little bit more. And then the other thing is that the thrust is still going to be active 
when we hit an obstacle, so we want to go back in here, uh, we want to get our particle system. Um, and quite simply, because the only other option is to restart the level anyway, we don't need to toggle this on or off, so we're actually just going to completely destroy the component. This wouldn't work if you're reusing something, if you're reusing the player class for some reason. Uh, this will completely remove the component from the class, uh, but again, not going to be an issue for our game style, just because we're going to be able to hit the restart button, it will completely reload and spawn in a new player. But you can see there we go, we had the destruction particle, and then the thruster has disappeared. We can press restart, we can start, and then that's going to work perfectly fine. So we now have all of our particle systems working and ready in the level. So that pretty much wraps up the entire project. That's all of the things I wanted to get across and cover for a very simple kind of endless runner game. So I'm going to leave that video here. But like I mentioned, if you check in the description below, the link to download the entire complete project with some tweaks and improvements made, uh, quite likely, will be available in the description below completely free, just so you can help yourself to that and pull apart things, take out the particle effects that you may or may not want, uh, do as with it as you wish. So yeah, like I said, I'll leave this one here for today though. As always, if you've enjoyed these videos or find them useful, please do leave a like and share the video around, that always helps. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with any of the content coming from any of the playlists on the channel. And as ever, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.